Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you a recipe for something typical Polish. We call them in Polish zimne nuszki, and that is basically jellied pork meat. <laughs> so uh, I would call it Polish jellied pork. How about that? It is delicious. It's something totally different and I hope you guys are going to give it a try. And in case you decide to do that, let's have a look at the ingredients. Alright, so I'm starting with cleaning the, this is the uh, feet and the uh, um, pork hock. <laughs> I washed it, if it's any hair you want to remove it, but uh, mine are cleaned already when I'm buying them. And then I'm putting them into my crock pot, obviously, then I'm adding cleaned vegetables. Okay, I have mine usually frozen in packs, so I just have one pack for my soup vegetables, which goes into... <laughs> my nushki. Okay, I have a little helper here as you can see. She wants to put everything in. Now the garlic we're leaving for later. So let's put the spices. We have uh, black pepper, bay leaves, allspice, and very important, salt. Okay, all it goes in and then <laughs> It's time to add water, and to my crock pot I'll be adding two liters of water here. But basically you wanna make sure that everything is nicely covered. You do not wanna add too much water, because if you add too much water, it will not jelly properly. Pro properly. <laughs> All right, so I cover my crock pot, and this goes into the base. Here we go, it is a little bit heavy. All right, and I'm going to set it on high, no, <laughs> on low for eight hours, sorry. Okay, and after, I would say it was about 45 minutes, one hour, it starts foaming up and the foam is a little bit dirty as you can see, so you want to go in and remove it as much as you can. I'm going to be doing it twice, I think right now and then I'll check in another half an hour or so if there is anything left. Now this is already after eight hours and I'm fishing out vegetables so you want to separate them. You can just drain everything right away whichever way it's more comfortable for you. I'm fishing out the vegetables and then putting the meat into the other bowl and then when it's a little bit left I'm just straining it through the strainer. So here we go, meat goes into the separate bowl. We definitely want to keep the liquid, that's going to be what we going to have the jelly from. Okay, veggies side, meat here, here we go. All right, then you see the rest, I'm just straining through the strainer if there is anything left. Because we want to have a clear jelly. All righty, and now it's the job of removing all the bones and cutting the meat into small pieces. Now you want to make sure because they are little bones, so just cut it slowly. If you cut it into really small pieces, you, sh you are sure then that you didn't leave any bones there. There we go, a little bit messy. But the meat is still very warm. I'm trying to work as soon as I can touch it basically, so my liquid will not start jellying. <clears throat> okay, and I, then I add the garlic on the bottom of my serving uh, glasses. Those are actually serving glasses. But whatever you choose to use, uh, you can just use the plastic containers as well. I just wanted to make it fancy. It's, it's nicer to serve later on. All right, on top of the garlic, I'm splitting equally my meat. So I'm making four portions here. They are pretty big, so if you had smaller containers, probably you could make eight, and then it would be like one meal, let's say. All right, and then we're splitting the liquid equally as well. And right now, this will stay until it cools down to room temperature. You don't wanna put it to the fridge right away. And then when it's room temperature, we're putting it into the fridge overnight. And then the next day it is ready to serve. I'm usually removing the fat from the top and then I will sprinkle a little bit of 
lemon. Uh, my dad likes it with the white vinegar, so you can try it with the vinegar. My husband likes it with horseradish. So those are different ways you can, you can eat it and I would serve it with fresh bread as well. It is delicious. It's very specific, so not everyone will like it, but I love it. It's just the garlic, the meat, ah, the jelly, yummy, very delicious. Now I'm going to add a little bit of horseradish. It goes very well, so uh, if you want to try it with the horseradish, I think it's a good idea. All right, and that's about it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the movie, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Smash Lego! Bye!